No clue what that was. Uh, good thing is I did catch like as it just started happening. I watched the uh, video over. It started happening like a minute before I noticed it. So I don't know what that was because I was looking at my uh, resources. Nothing was any different. Uh, there wasn't more GPU usage, no CPU usage, no uh, heat issues. The RAM was fine. It was the game itself. Um, when I tried to close the game, actually, it caused major issues. My computer like really chugged and slowed down there. And then as soon as the game was closed, everything's fine again. Um, so I don't know. I, I'll just chalk it up to the old mysterious memory leak or something. I have no clue. Uh, again, I know there was a patch yesterday that said specifically it fixed the game crashing. Now, this wasn't really a crash, but it was a performance issue. I don't know, but I I'm going to assume it's not the RAM. I could be wrong there. Um, but I'm going to assume the RAM's fine, because the RAM's been perfectly fine this entire time. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was, but good thing is I did catch it as soon as it was happening, so that's good. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, this has some damage. DR close. This one has damage, DR close, DR poison, and then more damage. Okay. I think the one I have is better. Uh, so these, oh, these are our uniques, which again, unfortunately, I'll hold on to, but like the actual stats don't seem to matter. Thorn's damage dealt has chance to deal damage to all enemies around you. Interesting, but I don't really care. Uh, keep that for the aspect, which I don't ever plan on using, but it would be a nice way to get heals. Vulnerable, vulnerable, slowed. And then injured is just a nice thing. Um, this one, I think, is going to be the same... Raw damage, the same vulnerable. So I'm getting vulnerable and slowed. Uh, the slowed should be the times bit worse because it's a lower roll. Uh, vulnerable is going to be worse than either close or distant. So that's really just against injured enemies. Now I'm going to try to re-roll it, see what the dazed gives me. This might work. I don't think it will, though. I, I, I'm actually going to lose a ton of crit damage. You know what? No. Not going to be worth it. Life, regen, poison. Hey, now. That's all nice. So if I can get uh, either life on kill or armor or something on this, I can roll that. Okay, so these two are being stored. Thankfully... This happened early on in the Helltide, so I'm assuming I lost my um, Helltide thing, Cinders. Oh, first Carlo, now Leo. There's something out there killing us, and no. One. Don't Danny, hand it over. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I restarted OBS and everything, which is why I think it's the game, because restarting OBS did nothing, but restarting the game immediately fixed it. So. I'm assuming that's what the issue was. Something, again, just pretend it's memory leak. I don't know if that's still a thing. I mean, sure, bad developers. But I don't know if these guys could actually be memory leak. But something of that nature. Uh, okay, I guess we keep basic attack speed. Fuck. Damn, it's a shame. Because that would have been really potentially good. But yeah, this is going to be less life regen. I swap life on kill for life. I do get damage from poison, but I lose armor. So less regen, armor for damage, and life on kill for life. I'm going to say no. I mean, it does also have the slot for the DR. I'm going to say no. Okay. Be serious, Tomiris. 
Morgan's folly is lost in ruins. Going back is... This isn't like before. This isn't for the fort, for Akarat. Surely you understand that. All right, so let me retag where the chest is, and then we can uh, go for that. I'm carrying too much. So I guess I was right. I said everything was going too well. Something's gonna happen. What happened was where the fuck that was. But thankfully, easily fixed. No big deal. All right, so where was this at? Uh, this is dead center. Here, right? So many little things here, but this this does line up with this. Okay. Seems like it's right here. Okay. And we need a lot of it, so it's gonna take a while before we get it, but uh we'll start from here. And just make our way down. Oh, I have six cinders. Maybe it does save your cinders. I have no idea how many I had, but... The old twisting blades that seems to be the most popular rogue one, but I am definitely not regretting being my ranged rogue. I'm really enjoying it. So far, I'm still getting good drops. Helving, so the one we want. Oh, why is it zooming out? Uh, okay. I was like, what the fuck is it gonna do? It only does that in bosses. Like, world bosses. Oh, is this it right here? Oh, it's it right here. Okay. Well, we found it, but now I gotta get a ton more. I'm around the map here. Uh, let's keep going south. I'm not ready yet. Guy here, if he's doing the event, okay, there's a bunch of people in the event, perfect. I feel like I'm helping, I just blew up that big group over there.
time. Up, guys, never would have got that done on my own. All right, continue here. Need seventy five more. more to go. This is up here ish. Yeah. 50 more. Circle the area. Men's. I still don't understand how I'm surviving more with this damage. I swear I'm surviving more. Like obviously, I'm killing them quicker, but there are times I'm being grouped up and. I swear I normally would have died, I'm not. Three times in a row I've seen the uh, Helltide boss. Hell yeah. Perfect time to show up. Hell yeah. Okay. Still need 35 more. This is just insane luck. I don't understand it, but I'll take it. I think if I started a Helltide today to start the stream, cause I, I, they're, they're really drastically dropping more um, cinders than they had before. And again, they did update the game yesterday, but it was just supposed to performances. You would think if they actually updated it to increase the cinder rate, they would have told us. But like, it's not a placebo effect, I know I'm getting more. It's very clear I'm getting more. I don't know. I guess it could be. No, because I did Hell Tide or uh, yeah, Hell Tides in Tier Four yesterday. So it's not just because I'm in Tier Four. I don't know. But it's very consistent. Both the Hell Tides I've done today. Tons and tons and tons of cinders. 
Alright, so we're almost there. We got 10 more to go. Five more. Chasing someone. One more to go. Yes, one more. There it is. Bam. Thank you. And that is Billy the Chess. Now, we still haven't gotten anything other than consistently getting, um... Actually, I'm just keep fighting, because fuck it, why not? But yeah, consistently getting good bows. But I did just get two ancestral uh, legendaries right there. So it has potential. One of these days, I'll get gear that's not just good rarity, but actually has good stats. And I know it took whatever it was, like, six hours in Tier 3, so... Right now we're only five hours into Tier 4. So probably another hour before we start getting other stuff. Decent amount of space to go. Let's kill shit. It's just so good because I wasn't even able to do this in tier 3 with the proper gear, but now I'm actually able to get like really good damage out. And it's only the beginning. Still not even close to being like, I don't even want to say optimized obviously, but not even close to being halfway optimized. We just have okay stuff. This? I'm already seeing the benefits. Yeah. 
25 more. And open one of these chests. Player? I guess that was a player. I saw some sort of meaning plate. Only oh, last few. Maybe this group will be the twins? Probably not. It's a small group. But they're dropping a lot. Alright, two more, so let's make our way back up to that. Chess piece. I mean, to be fair, I do have a good chess piece in storage. Let me see about another one. That's chest. That's weapon. Jewelry. Weapon. Damn it. Weapon. What the fuck? All the way down here. Alright. Poison just murdering me right now. Holy shit. I had to pop five potions, and the entire time I was going to be dead. Ooh, well that shrine came at a good time. Oh, I haven't popped the potion to heal. Not heal, um, the experience. Do that right now so I can look at this shit anyway. You missed out on 5% experience, damn it. Alright. Entering shot, crit chance, crit damage. If I can roll a rapid fire on that, that would be pretty decent. Um, I don't think it's worth it, though. Alright, that's an aspect we want to keep. Poisoned and imbued, nah. Distant core crit. No, it's way worse. Slowed distant gives energy and resource. I mean, it's only two, but the two together are uh, 34, whereas these two together are like 39, but that's upgraded, so that actually might be better than this one. And I'd lose the aspect, which is nice. Now these two together are worse. Okay, this one's only 29. So this is better. Energy, crit chance. That's energy, resource gen. I'm going to roll it. Alright, let's go ahead and roll that one. Life on kill armor and barrier. Ooh. So if I can roll again, I'm hoping for a health or life on kill maybe? Okay. Alright, we're actually starting to get some potential ones now. It's still going to be based on, you know, re-rolling, but still. Potential is better than no potential. Alright, let me just move this so I know which ones to keep. Alright, let's see. Uh, down here. Actually, now nah, we'll just quickly, we'll do this very quickly. Make the most of the hell tide.
We can still use this. Hold on to them. Oh shit, I am running out of money. Alright. Because I've been re-rolling so much. I think that's how expensive it was. Uh, so let me just sell my stuff from here on out. Or not here on out, but you know, for now. Obviously getting rid of the uh, uh, legendaries. The blacksmith. Otherwise, other than that, selling it. Give me some money back. I'm down to 1.1 $1 million. <laughs> I, I'm heading down to this. Oh, dude, the chain explosion. Oh my god, that was glorious. That's the first time we've actually seen that. That was my thing of theory. I mean, we've been killing them usually like in one pop, but there it was one guy exploded. A second later, another guy exploded. A second later, another guy exploded. A second later, another guy exploded. So just, that was the actual chain explosions there. One explosion weakened the guy enough to kill the other guy. I just kept going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> that was glorious. Yeah, that was awesome. Side. Need more time. Any enemies here? Really, game? I'm not ready yet. Explosions are beautiful. Like that right there. Now that was only three, but still, that was a chain explosion there. Alright, we're going to have enough for another chest very soon. Alright, just a rare, that's fine. Let me go back and see. First of all, was this guy still here? There was somebody up here. Uh, I don't think he's there anymore. It's not flashing. He was there. Alright, let's go get the loot that I bypassed. And I can see where to go next. Weaponry, weaponry, jewelry. Yeah, I would prefer armor. That's a chess piece, but you know we don't want. Or at least we prefer something. Alright, well fuck it then. Guess I'll look at jewelry. Oh, and I only need one more. Dude, we're getting so many chests because of this, because we're getting so many cinders. This was always the issue, was like we just never got enough cinders. It just felt like just the tiniest bit of increase would make things so much better. And this is more than a tiny bit of increase. And I'm fine with it. This is genuinely like double the amount of cinders that we normally get. That would be great if this is actually something that's intentional. chest. Thank you. Well, let's see if I can open another chest in nine minutes. Alright, I've got a uh, mount thing. Alright, well the next one, I guess I will go weaponry and just... Oh, that one's super close. But I mean, if it's a dagger. 
You know what? No, I won't. I, I, I want armor, so let's go up top. Fast travel up here, because I'm not seeing any chests up here. But it's a fast travel there. Alright, uh... Here we go. Jewelry, weaponry, protection, weaponry... Jewelry, protection. So it's protection all the way up here and all the way down here. Go all the way up here since I got to get 75. Uh, so 60 of them. That guy just shot fucking one shot by my penetrating shot. That still blows me away. Penetrating shot is strong. Don't get me wrong, but again, the reason we added rapid fire is because penetrating shot is good against single targets, but not great. In fact, no, it wasn't even like, you know, it, it was actually the worst one against single targets. In fact, I'm one shotting people with it. Kind of crazy. One shotting one person with it, I should say. Not groups. Alright, yeah, I don't want to fight these guys since they generally are more annoying than they are anything else. These guys will fight. I need more time. Alright, so a little over 30 more. Very close to it. Still need 25 more, so let's kind of run around in a circle here. Okay, how's that tracking me? Yes. Five minutes, totally fine. Need Fifteen more and we're good. some groups, not just like two people. There we go. Smaller group, but a group. Didn't give me much, but we got a shrine. Come on enemies, where are you? The fuck? No enemies. Of course. Going back towards the chest.
Seven more. Uh, here's a group. So we might get seven here. Fuck. Yeah, that radius. I need more time. I'm just not going to get it. Yeah, of course, one off. Usually is a group, though, with the chest. So... Perfect. Just like that. Bam. Oops, perfect. All right, so we had some potential ones before I didn't get to fully look at. Ancestral, okay. Let's take a look. And I might... I mean, is there even a point in doing a dungeon? Well, I guess for the Renown. We'll see. If there's a uh, thing. These aren't tagged as new. I don't remember seeing that. Let's start from the beginning then. Uh, that one would have life, crit damage, shadow damage. Man, it's not needed. All right, force armor. So lots of crit damage here, a ton of crit damage, core damage, I can roll something. Do I want to lose regular damage for crit damage though? Probably not, I would say. Yeah, probably not. Alright, so it's just the ones that we looked at before, which now I can actually take a good look at. We have two rings and the helm. So the helm. Again, my current one has armor, regen, life on kill. This has life on kill. Better. Okay. Um, I keep forgetting to upgrade that helm. God damn it. <laughs> um, better armor as well. Wow. Better armor, better... Okay, so this one has regen. That one we're going to roll for. And it has a slot. All right. This one should be a replacement. So, it would be nice if I get life. That'd be like the best case scenario, so if I get life. Otherwise, regen would be okay. I don't know what else goes on helms, so maybe like dexterity, intelligence, but life is number one. Alright. First Carlo, now Leo. There's something out there killing us and no one will- Don't dally, hand it over. Damn. Wow, willpower and it rolled willpower again. What the fuck? That sucks, dude. But it still might be worth it. This gives me barrier, which means I can eventually replace whatever I put barrier on. Ooh, I put barrier there, but I'm assuming I can just put a different aspect on it. And this is a much better barrier. It's almost double the barrier. So I think that's worth it. Losing the regen. I'll hold on to the other one, but for now we'll swap that. That sucks, that fucking rolled the exact same goddamn stat. <laughs> Alright. Um, now these. Slowed, distant. This is where I can just see... I need resource generation, honestly. Although eight maximum energy isn't shit. Don't be eight a is not a lot. Come back soon. Hmm. The mid roll though, and then it gets upgraded. But then the resource gen is high. How do I get resource gen? Um. This gives me combo points. Resource gen is just over time. I know, yeah, get rid of the resource gen. I don't fucking care. Crit chance? 
or dazed. Right now, dazed was an aspect, wasn't it? It wasn't one that I actually was intending on keeping. Yeah, I'm not even using it right now, but it is something I could potentially use. But I'm gonna just go for the crit chance. I mean, it's only 2%, but still, fuck it. Alright, and then this one. Another low crit chance. Alright. Well. Again, I also have to account for it being upgraded, but without upgrading it. Distant and slowed versus... Again, the distant is better. Slowed is the same as vulnerable. And then when it's upgraded, it'll be better, which will make up for the imbued skill damage. So it's really crit damage versus crit chance and energy. And of course, I'm losing the aspect for now. Uh, and then there's this one as well. Or distance better. Poisoned is worse than that. I think I'd make the swap on this one first. So that's a yes. Now the question is this one. This one, no. That's just for the aspect. Okay. That's being kept. That's for the aspect. Alright, and again, I want to start selling, so I need to start making money. Uh, so... Alright, that already gave me a bunch of money, good. My bags are full. And the rest is that. Oh, I gotta upgrade. Alright, so I've got a I can't carry any more. Potential minor increase to the helm. Biggest thing is the fact that it's a better barrier. Okay. The forge is always hot. So again, we have our crazy good crossbow, helm, uh, and then the ring as well as a minor upgrade. So a little bit more damage, a little bit more armor. Not really gonna be noticeable, but hey, something. I don't think that's worth getting a third upgrade for. I'll do it anyway, who fucking cares. Alright. You can't be serious, Tom Iris. Morgan's fully in this is going there to keep. This is going Green there for the is, aspect. This isn't like before. These are this all being the deposited. Surely you understand that. <sighs> Alright, uh, skull. Damn. We'll pause, right? Pause. Okay. Aragon board. Intelligence. And then we look. Um, let's see. I'm thinking of trying a normal dungeon. We've got Inferno I could do new. We've got Serot's Lair. Moral Emanation. And Endless Gates. None of those are probably written down for things I care about. Oh, Inferno is. Making vulnerable gives crit chance. Okay. That should be... Okay, so we can do Inferno. 
Again, this is just a normal dungeon, but it is tier 4. So, so let's see. And also, if I can even do this, then the next question is, is it worth it? Because it's still probably better to do whispers, but you know, whatever. I'm just finding out. Long term, whenever I can finally do nightmare dungeons, that's what we do. But right now, when I can't do that... Let's see. Oh, that's right. We had a new mount armor, too. I'll probably forget to look at that for the longest time. <laughs> this down All right. so nothing here we have our for now at least experience bonus we also have fire resistance which sounds like it might be useful in a place called inferno and we'll see Fucking elite die before. Well, I guess because I have the elite damage, that's how it died first. I was like, how the normal enemies survive, but the elite died? Because we're doing like 50 plus percent more to elites. That was a well-placed barrel that didn't even know was there. It's cold. Okay. out of that. <laughs> I was right on the border of it. Grab the willpower, which doesn't matter, but still, it's the only stat we don't care about. And then next time we get a point, we'll unlock the next board. Yes. 
suck. There we go. Good. Oh god, I'm dead. Holy fuck. Dude's fucking speed was insane. I couldn't get out of that. I was trying to teleport to that guy. I don't know why it wasn't working. Fucking guy has just crazy ass speed. So far away. Check. I feel like I don't have regen anymore. Then we swapped it out. Yeah. But I didn't know if I had it on any other piece of gear or not. That one actually have to heal after fights. Yeah, I don't have regen anymore. Okay. Good to know. It's one of those convenient ones to have. It's just that way. In our grasp. All hail the unholy mother and her devil. We came here to purge this evil, but now I can't leave my friends here. Not like this. We we can't do it alone. Well, you're not gonna be able to do it with me either because I only successfully done this one time. Every other time you guys die. Just started and burst down there really quickly. Uh, fuck, so far away. And after this event, if I can even get back to it in time, I gotta pop a potion. The problem was I wasn't able to get to these elites. They had like people in front of them and the best way to deal with the tough elites obviously is like rapid fire. The penetrating shot wasn't doing shit to them. Unfortunately they burst me down, but we still succeeded. Alright, so Damn. Almost full, so we'll turn soon. I probably should return first. Oh well. That's where we return to. Yes, yes, yes. 
the end of this shit. No other way to turn. There was another way to turn, so a loop. Storm gave me so much health back there. was gonna happen. <laughs> Wait until the uh, shrine wears off. This in a sec. Is that okay? Ugh. Well, definitely doing it. You know, with the toughest of enemies, we're getting killed, but definitely doing it. But that again means that nightmare dungeons are still not feasible. Carrying too much. Life and regen. And I could roll it and see if I get either armor or life on kill. If I get armor, then it'd be... Alright, we'll see. Uh, keeping that for the imbuement. Close, close, vulnerable, and crit damage. I mean, they'd have to be close for it, so no. Regen, crit damage, crit chance. So there's no pure damage, I only get one roll, best case scenario. I'd say no. Distant, distant, but no. Alright, so these. That one's being saved, that one's being re rolled. Alright. There. Let me sell this stuff on here since I'm selling it now.
Well, I would like that. And then that was legendary. Unusual, but a good addition to my right. wares. Uh, which way is it? It's up this way. Life on kill. Don't okay, now this becomes interesting. Because I get all the life ones, so regen, life, and life on kill. And then some strength. So I really lose the armor, which is going to be pretty big, and I also lose the better barrier. Um, how much armor is it? I mean, it's 9%, which might be pretty high. Uh, 54... Versus 46, that's 8% DR against physical, 4% against everything else. Is that worth... Also, less life on kill, although it could be upgraded, but it is going to be less life on kill. Is that worth that bit of life? I'm going to say no. I'm going to hold on to it, but I'm going to say no. Okay. I have three maybe helms I have to look at later. <laughs> Alright, we'll deconstruct that later as well. We can hop back in. Where was I going? Up this way. A rock breaker. Oh, good found this. And they should connect, perfect. you. You're dead now. Oh, and that's it. My Discourage. Okay. And this is where things suddenly get a lot easier again. Right now it's the packs that are really fucking me up. Otherwise we can just fucking destroy these guys. No problem. Okay, so that gave me... Oh, I just have to be on it. Um, so we've had this on Gear Reforce. This is one that's, you know, potentially okay. Uh, for a second... Okay, I don't know why. For a second I saw OBS, thought everything was frozen. Weird. <laughs> that was odd. Um, but on a lucky hit, uh, making an enemy vulnerable, which is, again, the first time I hit an enemy, or when there's an explosion, uh, a 30% chance to give me crit. So, give me more crit chance. So it's just one that gives me more crit chance. It's not really something I'm going to be specifically putting on, but, you know, if I wanted to, I could. So, nice. Uh, alright. Let's go to the Whisper. Alright, so I've confirmed I can do normal dungeons. Now, was that worth it? In the time it took, because it's a normal dungeon, that was relatively quick. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it or if it just should stick with only doing every other part of the whisper. It is probably done. close enough. Um, 
One hand or boots? One hand. Always back for Although, again, if I can get the Skosglen Renown, that is going to eventually give me more Paragon points. And, you know, if I did Surat's Lair, I think we'll do that next. Fuck it, we'll do Surat's Lair. Just because that's in there. Um... Actually, no, we won't, because I might as well just start... I'll do this all stream, obviously, but start doing side quests in there, because, like I've seen here, sometimes the side quests take you to the other dungeons. So might as well do it more efficiently that way. So we won't do that. Uh, so that's what we saw. Vulnerable damage, lucky hit, crit damage, and close. I'd re-roll the lucky hit, I guess. And I'd have vulnerable and crit. Close is more situational. Comparing these two directly, the crit would be probably worse. I'd swap distant for close. Vulnerable would probably be similar but worse. So that, I mean the imbuement skill damage isn't that high. So if I get distant enemies, eh. I'll roll it. Again, we are low on cash, but we get it pretty quickly just by selling this shit. You never know, maybe I'll just roll something really fucking solid. <laughs> no, but I can use that for the imbuement. Alright. Yeah. Give it over. My bags are full. There's that. Let's check out this horse armor we just got. No horse without guide. Understand? That one. I like the helm. I wish it was darker. That looks like a skull. I'll go with the darker one still. Pleasure doing business, traveler. First Carlo, now Leah. There's something out there killing us, and no one will do anything. See if I just happen to get something. Oh, okay. For a second, I thought that was five hundred seventy thousand. It's fifty-seven thousand. Okay. Um. Crit chance. I mean, yeah, it's good, but it's not enough to replace it. I was looking for something like really good. Right. I'll see you again. So, exploit. And DR close is nice, but like the other two I wouldn't really care about. Oh no. Why is it all of that? You can't be serious, Tom Iris. Is Again, unfortunately, on this tier, the Nightmare Dungeons I can do have to be Nightmare 20 plus, which means they'd be level 73, which, I mean, I guess that's what we're doing. Do I even have a 20? I have a 21. Do I want to try this? Fuck it. I'll try it. Okay. Abandoned Mine Works sounds new. All the wood we've done. What's the conditions? They're faster, take less lightning damage, and crowd control is reduced. That's perfectly fine for me, so none of these negatives are affecting me. <sighs> I have to. Now, it's only four revives, but, like, this is a really, really easy one. 
Game's giving me an easy one to try. Do I regret this? Let's find out. Again, the modifiers are nothing. No positive, but no negative, essentially. So there's level 74 monsters. And then, after this, I have to briefly take a break. Making some meatloaf tonight. I already pre-made it. All I gotta do is put it in the pan, throw it in the oven. So, won't take long. But that'll be after this. clicked out of the window by accident. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Let the sound go away. Breathing. I can't do anything about it. God damn it, man. Dude, I just got out of that too. It keeps being trolly timed. I'll fight him and he won't freeze me. But the second he freezes me, he freezes me a second time. Immediately after. So I just don't have it on cooldown. Alright, I really need to put on that piece of gear that gives me two shadow steps then. Because now we're... It's doable right now, but unfortunately, I'm limited in my number of re Okay, what the fuck? I'm limited in my number of retries. Yeah, between the freezes and the fucking spiders just putting me in their webs. And now I aggroed so many different groups right now. Dude. I need more time. Jesus fucking Christ. This is a terrible combo of them freezing me in the fucking webbing. Jesus, man. Alright. Thank God. So, yeah, we might not get this done because of the limited number of uh, retries. <laughs> but it definitely would be doable. That was a really fucking bad combo, though. Alright, unlock the new board, which is tricks. Let me verify that. I mean, I wrote it down, so I know it's true, but I also made this thing here. So Tricks of the Trade, we're going right here, and we're using Tricks of the Trade to get to, eventually, more elite damage. Okay. Uh, so Tricks of the Trade. Right here. Um, we're going straight up to that. Perfect. Oh, nice. Our first one's going to be Strength. Awesome. So when we get one more point, we'll get the Strength, which will give us even more... Oh, we already have the Strength, apparently. Oh. Alright, so next, we're not going to be doing it, but maybe organically. No, it's a ton of intelligence. Sorry, we need the intelligence.
ancestral bow. This is the bow it probably won't be any good. Those are weaker per hits. Well, the ancestral has a chance. I hate the webs, man. So annoying. One way to go. Good. Our uh, gear. Oh, I meant to uh, deposit that one. Whoops. Supposed to go next. Another combo of the freezing spiders, but thankfully there is much less other enemies here. So far it's been the only issue, which again is more so the enemy combination than it being, you know, too high level or whatever. Absolutely horrible combination. Awesome. We got another full zone and then the boss. Haunted tunnels, uh oh. Ghosts. something. Yeah. 
Oh. Get out of that. I teleport out of that. It just wasn't letting me. Okay. Multiple times in this dungeon, I've tried to use penetrating shot and it hasn't worked. I'm not sure if it's a little bit of lag or what. That time I actually had enough time to look at the bar and see that it was saying I could use penetrating shot. Again, it might be the fact that I'm potentially getting stuck or something in like a spider web. You can't really see the spider web when there's a million people around you. But I know it keeps happening, so that's probably what it is, now that I think about it. If it's in this dungeon in particular, probably those spider webs like keep you locked in place for a couple seconds, but you probably can't attack the first like millisecond, and that's throwing me off at times. Spawn. I need more time. Okay, get the fuck out of here. This is why I want to get out of here. Thank okay. god, holy shit, man. That was another terrible combo. These freeze combos are really fucking hurting me. Oh. Going. Oh, it's looping back. I was gonna say, it's what it felt like I was looping back. I need more time. Why these fucking ancestral banshee things are just so strong? Just the generic versions. Not elites or anything. They just have so much fucking health. Do so much fucking damage. Just the normal guys themselves are stronger than most elites. Ugh. Alright, let me finish down here. Looks like it might dead end down there.
need more time. More of them. They're the priority over the fucking elite. There you go. He goes down nice and quick. I didn't know what the fuck that was about, because that was the even objective, but whatever. I have up here and over there. Alright, we got strength. Last one over here. Now we with our gear. Oh, okay, might as well turn these in. Very charged, but nothing on it, like everything. God damn it. Nothing. Okay. Deposit this stuff, sell the rest. Start making our money back that we've been spending. Oh god, shit. That wasn't selling. Okay, I gotta make sure I have more right gear on now. Fuck. Uh, oh, it's easy to see because it's upgraded. Okay, good. You don't want that. Oh, this stuff was. Uh, yeah. Okay. All things have value. Went back up to two million, but I'm gonna keep selling because we burnt through like 1.5 million today. Let's do those few re rolls. Easy. Wow, it wasn't even a boss in this one. So again, that was good because it wasn't really much of a decrease in terms of like any kind of pros and cons from the modifiers. Um, so actually, you know, if that's the case, I can actually do some nightmare dungeons then. Okay. But unfortunately, we're still. Not getting gear. Let's see what I got from this. Crit damage and the rapid fire, so I really want to have penetrating shot. I can try to reroll that and see. Poisoned distance. But nothing else.
always smart to buy surprise inventory. Shit, where is it? Oh, it's that one. It's up here. Trap. Good chance. Again, I was really hoping to get the uh, penetrating shot. Otherwise, again, crit chance, crit damage. Nice. But I just, I can't, I need penetrating shot. Yeah. I would have armor too, but yeah. Over this for now for the aspect uh so i'm going to take a quick break just to throw my food in the oven so i will be back and then we'll do at least one more dungeon uh depending on how long it takes we'll see what else but maybe just one dungeon um all right so you're back
All right. Click there. Uh, so let me see what we got. In terms of Legion events, Endless Gates. Not Legion, whatever this is. Uh, Immortal Emanation. Oh, that's 13 minutes. I'm not going to get that done in 13 minutes. I was hoping to see if there's a dungeon that also was this, but that won't happen. So I could either do Whispers or I could try these uh, 21. These are the ones I've already done now. Renegade Retreat might be new. I could try that, or we can do Whispers. Uh, let me just try another dungeon. Fuck it. So, Renegade Retreat. Check this out. Killing a monster gives you attack speed and move speed. Otherwise, uh, Flame erupts near us. Shadow. Take less fire damage. Who cares about any of this stuff? Resistance, whatever. Okay, so another one where the modifiers don't necessarily matter. It actually helps me. And then, like, the flame erupting is something, but also not that important. Okay. Oh, and hey, it's an aspect that I potentially would use. Uh, imbuement skill effects have increased potency versus vulnerable. Again, I have so many other ones that are better that I wouldn't really like need to use it, but I could. So, sweet. We'll see how long this takes. Either we'll finish with this, or we'll finish with this and do a little bit of uh, whispers. fire there. Stood still for a fucking second. Almost died to it. Stairs didn't fuck that up this time. Awesome. First, I need more time. Oh! 
this boost down quickly. And I wasn't even taking like any damage at all. That's the first bunch of damage right there, because I said something and I'm about to die because I said something. Oh god, because I said something. Fucking Christ. It's the webs, man. The webs just keep getting me. That entire area was full of webs. Every step was a web. Well, all because I said that. <laughs> Holy shit, man. One step frozen, one step frozen, one step frozen, one step frozen. I got the optional objective done, though, the mastery. I killed the first three elites, it was the next three elites that got me, the fucking webs. But in the end, other than us losing a revive, which hopefully won't matter, it doesn't matter I died because I got the mastery done first. Poison damage. You just die. Alright. The way that mobilizes should be the nerf. Mobs can spawn in groups, they can spawn multi shot too fast to dodge. Yeah, that's what was happening there. They were just so many. Every single step I took. The entire field was just fucking webs everywhere. Bye bye. Haha. Uh -huh. Unless I'm being immobilized like that, we are dominating. Classes without unstoppable or immune equal rip. Yeah, so I mean, that's why it's good I at least have that myself. And it is a relatively low cooldown. Uh, 9 seconds, but with the upgrade, it should really be 6 seconds most of the time. But even that, because, you know, they're just all over the place. Now, there, there is a aspect that I will get eventually, once I'm really playing. That gives me 2 uses of that, so I'll have 2 uses of it in 6 seconds. But again, even that, when there's like a field full of web, that can still be pretty crazy. Alright, well, let's keep going in this direction from now, I guess. Got so much poison damage. Dude, these poison dots sometimes are just absurd. Still multiple ways to go. Big ass dungeon. Even yeah. through all that hell with multiple elites and all that, and the guy that fucking can almost one shot me, still relatively safe. Again, right now, the real issue just mobilization. Okay, that fire almost killed me because that's very powerful. That's the modifier of the dungeon. Other than that, pretty safe.
Man, it just keeps going this direction. I have up here to go. I think that's where we're supposed to go. We have up here. We have up here. That should connect. We go up this way because I think it's looking to connect here. Where's that? Did I just kill him? Wow. I killed that. Shit, he killed me. But I killed the elite with the uh, ricochet, which is much less damage than just a normal shot, too. So this big elite here is one that can one shot me. Go ahead and we're going up this way. Actually, I didn't really plan it, so I'm not going to spend any more of those points. I'm assuming we're going up, but whatever. Where's the big elite at? Knock his ass down. Good. He's dead. The Ellie Elite here. I'm not ready yet. Jesus Christ. Still up. Thank you. Okay, Stormy Inquisitor. Between him and the guy that's poisoning me. Alright, so this is gonna loop around. We got separated. My, my friends were cut down. I won't last on my own. Ooh, it just blinds me. It needs time to recharge. You end up over there. I'm not ready yet. That blind is going to be really annoying. Oh, they're teleporting over there. That's how they over there. Damn, it's a shame I can get the waves done, but it's alright. Wow, I was within like two seconds of getting the mastery. It's okay. Got a little more to connect here. area. Uh, Alright, so this keeps going that way. Fuck it. I'll just commit to this direction then. This is a big dungeon. This is only the first room or the first section, so I might only be a one section dungeon. Look how fucking big this is. Where'd you go? I thought I teleported away. Anyways. I'm about to be full, so let's go back. I'm gonna pop a Experience potion. I think I died twice, which means I think we only have two revives left. All depends on which enemies spawn. Armor, imbuement skill. Nah. Again, rapid fire if I can roll penetrating shot. I'll see.
Charm, life, and then damage. No DR, though. I say no, because we have a really good chest and storage. Okay, DR, DR to poisoned. And one of the other two isn't going to matter. I'm going to say no. Again, we have a better one. That I might look at. Well, let's compare those in a second. You are all injured. You are close and poison. And armor. Hmm. Nah. Okay, that one. Keep for that. Alright, roll these two, keep that. Sell the rest. Well, I would like that. Uh, rolling is up here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm hoping to roll rapid fire, otherwise something else would still be okay, but that's what I would prefer. Attack speed over power, so that's not gonna matter. Alright, what about this one, where I'm hoping to roll a uh, penetrating shot? I actually need that. Nope. Okay, so neither of those two. Another happy customer. No, not happy. The thing about the board I just took is, uh, it has a lot of good shit. It has damage versus distant enemies, damage versus close enemies, damage to elites. But then it also has DR close, DR distant. I don't think it has DR elites though. Uh, but this board's gonna be great. Now obviously that means they're gonna be many levels until I can actually get that shit, since I gotta go through the entire board. That's probably what I'm gonna be doing. Doing this entire board for both damage to like everything, and then DR. I guess there would have been some incentive to get the board early, but at the same time, not really, because I really wanted to exploit the glyph first. And I wouldn't have invested too far into that board anyway. That's where things going to be really, really good. Getting damage from, like, again, basically every type of enemy, and then some DR as well. This was where like, we were supposed to go for the main objective. I guess not. Yeah, and I'll keep going in this direction for now. My dead end right here, anyway. Dude, so we ain't really used the shrine for all too much, but whatever. Oh, I forgot to pop another uh, experience potion. You know what? I won't pop it since we're going to be finishing up after this anyway. I'm assuming they don't persist through like exiting. 
only 5% more experience anyway. Okay, good. He took the time to cast that. Thank God. Because again, he can one-shot me. But because he took that one second to animate, cast something, it was more than enough time for me to kill him because I can kill him that quickly. Yeah, it's a lot like Dark Souls. I kill things... Well, okay. It's not that I kill things quick, but... In this game, I kill things quick, but they can kill me quick too. I guess it's like a normal enemy in Dark Souls. I kill them quick, they kill me quick. Not a Dark Souls boss fight, where it takes 20 minutes and I can get one shot at any time. This fucker's poison, man. These throat slitters have crazy poison. Oh, look, back to back bosses. Bye bye. He's dead to the poison. Treasure room key. That is the only way to go. And this was a pretty big dungeon. This might be the boss fight. Obviously, it could be a whole second area to go through, but I feel like it's the boss fight with how big this was. here anyway to sell. Uh, and penetrating shot. I mean, even if I got rapid fire, it's not really that important. Crit chance and strength. That'll be good your damage, the same vulnerable. Crit damage, vulnerable damage, I'd have to roll the daze. Um, but this has the lucky hit to give me a poison pool on the ground. Now I'd lose the other imprint. Hmm. The crits... I would think is either the same or slightly better. So it's the same vulnerable, probably the same raw damage. Let's just say the same crits. Okay, so this is slow, close, distant. This is vulnerable something else. The vulnerable will probably be the same as the slow. And enemies are vulnerable more often than the slow, but still, we'll just pretend all things being equal, they'll cross each other out. Um, I would need to roll something that's like a 56% something. And I don't think I will. So that's going to be a no. Okay. Right, nothing. Need something special? Yes. But I'm not getting it anywhere. All things have value, I suppose. I want to see what happens. Can you sell? You can sell it. All right. You can. S That's interesting. You can sell legendaries without them like warning you. But annoyingly, you have to always get warned when you try to do this with the salvage. There's that. I mean, I appreciate the warning, at least, you know, for some people, but, like, why do you have it? I guess because you can buy back, as opposed to you can't, like, unsalvage. 
All right, well, I'll deposit this stuff. Bam, bam. Okay, well, there we go. We are in tier four, which we got into yesterday. Today, it's starting to feel good uh, offensively. Uh, we are doing really good damage. So again, we're there damage-wise. Obviously, you can get better, but we're there right now. <laughs> we're not getting anything armor-wise, though. We have no armor yet. Um, so obviously, right now, I'm surviving because I finally put aspects on. But man, oh man, I'm getting no good drops for gear. So that's where I'm at right now. I just need uh, armor. I need survivability. Everything else is feeling really, really nice. Um, again, in this particular uh, board, which we're not going to showcase since tomorrow's last stream of this. Uh, but I'm going to go to a glyph to insert a glyph, which is going to give me more of this. So we're going to be doing massive damage to elites. Uh, it's going to be like 70-ish percent after the glyph's in there and maxed out. So massive damage to elites, but I'm also going to get damage and DR, distant enemies, damage and DR, close enemies. Um, so this board's going to be pretty nice for that. I am not going to be touching the actual mastery of it because I don't care for that. Um, so I'll probably stick in this board. Otherwise, some other things from the other boards. Um, I could get more core damage. It's pretty close. It's not too out of the way. Everything else in here is either too far. I'm not going to care about it. Um, this board, I'm also going to pretty much complete. I've got uh, DR from Vulnerable Enemies. More damage to vulnerable enemies, and also damage to injured, which is nice. And then the um, legendary one here, which makes vulnerable enemies take more damage. Uh, and then the final board, I actually have two choices for. Uh, right now, I'm going with... What is it here? Oh, I'm going with the imbuement board. Um, but one thing... I was just thinking about this morning, actually, and I'll, I'll have to do the numbers on it. Um, none of my boards have damage to healthy enemies, which would help you one-shot, you know, the weak guys. Um, now, I shouldn't really need that since I'm actually already doing that now. Um, but technically, there's another board, which is still good. Um, I could go through that board because it has one-shot healthy enemies, but then it has other bonuses. But I think the imbuement board, number-wise, like, let's just say... The healthy enemy board gives you 40% more damage. I'm pretty sure the imbuement board gives me the same, if not more. And it's more useful because it's not as situational. Um, so I'll look into that. Again, things that you guys won't see, but I'm just talking about it. Um, but I think for now, I'll definitely focus on this board because, again, with the glyph in here, I'm going to be doing massive damage to elites. And then I'll decide whether I push for the distant or close first. But either way, I'll be getting DR and damage to both distant and close, which is going to be nice. So that's going to be a really big, massive improvement to offense. Uh, pretty decent improvement to defense. You know, 6 DR, uh, 4.5 DR. Not major, but, you know, nice. Um, and then even from this, the vulnerable enemies will be 8 DR. So that would be nice, too. Uh, so that's going to be fun. But for now, I have the two points. I'm going to plan where I'm going. I'm assuming I'm just going straight up and over, since that makes sense. Since I'm right next to Elites. But I figured, end of the stream, I'll figure it out and see what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, we can at least do Nightmare Dungeons now, as long as there's not crazy modifiers. Um, because I'm still very squishy, but against, you know, a pretty tame Nightmare Dungeon, I can do them. So I kind of want to do that. We'll alternate between that and Whispers. Obviously, we can do Hell Tides as well. Today was crazy. I'm going to be curious to see if it's consistent now. Because, again, the Hell Tides we've done today have been very consistent, giving me a lot more Cinder. And the only thing I can think of is, it's not because we're in Tier 4, because we did that yesterday and that wasn't the case. It could be the update. Now, the update only said they fixed issues with crashing, but maybe they snuck something in there. I don't know. That would be awesome. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is going to be the last stream for this playthrough of Diablo 4. Uh, like I said, I will definitely come back for expansions. I'm not sure if I'll stream seasons because I genuinely don't really know what they entail. I know what they say they entail, but I've never done seasons. So I don't know. I'll have to wait till it comes out and see. If I had to guess, I would assume I will level up my season character off stream. 
and then we'll stream for just a few days of seasons depending on what the content is and how much it is. I won't know until it happens, uh, but that's my assumption of what will happen and we'll see when the time comes. But either way, it's been awesome and obviously I'll keep playing this off stream. Um, but yeah, tomorrow should be fun to, to say goodbye to the streaming aspect of it and next time we come back, whether it be a new character or this one, should be uh, really interesting.